Hello everybody, my name is Key Tapper, and this is attempt 3 for episode 2. Um, first two episodes, the video was frozen, and <laughs> I don't know. Um, hopefully this one goes through. It looks like I'm captured on my screen here, so I think we're good to go. Uh, last time we left off, we just finished with the first cutscene, uh, where this village was attacked and destroyed by a couple guys. They took away Shayna. They put a little gym up their head and made sure she was the right girl and kind of took her away. And then we saw our hero here get saved by some mystery character when a dragon was attacking him. We came in over this little fence and we were attacked by two guys who just killed this guy. So now let's grab this item here and uh, figure out what's going on. So. I'm gonna come over here and check this guy out. Plus, hang on. <sighs> that voice is that you, Dart? So people give Dart a lot of shit here for uh, not being in the village when it was attacked, and it's something I don't really understand because nobody seems to really understand or recognize Dart when they first see him. It's kind of like, is that who I think it is, kind of? But, um, they kind of blame him because he didn't defend the village, which kind of counterintuitive. Uh, Dirt feels really guilty about the whole thing, too. Like, he's always putting his head down and shaking it when talking to most of the people here. And, um, they, it, it's kind of uh, plot-induced stupidity here. Or maybe it's just kind of a mess up on the translation. I don't know. I'm going to say this a lot through this playthrough. I really wish that the translation went a lot better. I think one of the issues was that the game was expected to be a flop. And we just finished talking with Kloss and he kind of said that uh, he didn't know what happened to Shayna. But this commander is going to tell us, hey, we took the girl and we took her to Helena. And then he's going to say, dumbest line. Um, she must be receiving the courtesies of Helena Prison by now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shayna? Exactly. But don't worry. I will let you follow them. Although not to Helena. To hell. <laughs> it's so childish. Like, some of these insults feel like they're from, like, middle schoolers. So we got uh, our commander here and two of his little cronies. Uh, hopefully, I think if you one-shot um, the cronies before they attack, you'll get the other one to retreat. So let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Should kill him. And the other guy should run away, right? Yeah, there we go. So now we just got the commander to work on. Uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. Totally messed that double slash up. So, here he is powering up. It's really not a difficult fight. Um, I will say that I'm really guilty of using the guard to really heal up. <sighs> Get set up too. I feel really bad because double slash is like the easiest addition that we have here. But uh, like I was saying, I use guard to heal up and I'm kind of a bitch about it. So what I'm going to try and do is really focus on uh, using items. That way I'm not wasting a bunch of time just killing up. Slash. Uh, if he's in the red, I should be able to kill him and not really have to worry about it. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and take him off. There we go. Yeah, so out of this, I'm gonna get uh, 26 gold, 24 experience, a couple healing potions, and a burnout. And I went ahead and leveled up and got a new addition. We'll go over that in a minute here. I think we got some more cutscene to go through. So, now that those guys are dead, I'm gonna go talk to Plus again. Uh, basically, he's just gonna say, Yeah, you're probably gonna go try and rescue Shayna. Be careful. You can count on us to uh, kind of rebuild Celeste. That there's enough people to take care of it. But, uh, 
starts saying, yeah, I'm gonna be back. Um, I don't think there's anything you have to come back to Celeste for. I know there's an option to, but um, I don't think I've ever really come back here. Let's, let's go talk to these kids real quick. I'm gonna run out here and try and attack me. Funny. Stop, it's me. And again, they're gonna see Dart and kind of recognize him after... Like, I was out here talking to Plos and they were like five feet away. You'd think that they would have heard him. But I uh, guess not. So, their kids are really depressed because everyone's dead. They should be a lot more distraught. I mean, like, if everybody's dead here, their homes are destroyed. But Dart tells them to kind of help out and they seem to be a lot chipper after that. So, I'm gonna talk to Plos a little bit, and then I think they go and get medicinal herbs or something like that. I'll go get medical herbs. Me too. Okay. Girl kind of disappears. So, uh, one thing about this game is the Stardust, right? Uh, Stardust is kind of like a hidden item. So, the first one you can find is right here. Right? And I'm not going to get all of them. I, there's 50 of them in all. And they're an optional quest that unlock a um, optional boss. I'm just going to get the ones where I actually remember where they're at. So, uh, this guy right here is our Swordmaster, I guess. I don't remember if we ever talked to him after this point, but he's kind of like an optional tutorial. I think they really should have had him before the commander, because if you didn't really know what you were doing, and people weren't as comfortable with games back then as they are now, um, really could get your ass handed to you by those two um, soldiers in the beginning, and then you face that commander and two more soldiers. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this, uh, it takes like five minutes to go through and I don't really want to go through all that so says so he's gonna go on a journey I you know what I think you do see him later on in this uh, chapter so I'm gonna go ahead and leave now try and make my way to Helena this is just a cutscene by the way it's just showing you where I'm headed and uh, introduce a few characters here by the way that prison is intimidating as hell like if you were sent there like you were on the little wagon or whatever and you saw that that's the place you were being sent to, you lose all hope. So we're gonna go to this little prison cell here. We're gonna see Saint Shayna, excuse me, get knocked over by a spear. I really like this cell just because of the flame animation for the candle and like the lighting coming through the window. I thought those looked really cool. And even though it's kind of outdated, I still feel like they look, they still kind of hold up just a little bit, but that's probably nostalgic glasses for that. And these two characters here, we're going to have the hooded figure and the fat guy. The fat guy's name is Frugal. So Frugal's kind of asking, hey, what's going on? Who's the girl? And the man in the hood is going to punk the hell out of this guy. So he's basically saying, you don't know how valuable she is, so you're pretty much not worthwhile. And just do what you're told kind of attitude. And Frugal is going to kind of um, try and punk the man in the hood, but the man in the hood just makes him back the fuck off. So Frugal is going to get up here, and he's going to knock this guy over, right? I really, really want a Wilhelm screen right there. I think that would have been absolutely perfect. And yeah, so now we're gonna go back to our hero Dart and enter the forest. Um, I'll go ahead and show off the addition that I unlocked and kind of go over those, I suppose. Um, again, I'm gonna talk as if you don't know anything about the game. I'm sure most of you that are watching this have already played through it like a dozen times yourselves, so this is just for everyone who doesn't know. So, right now I have two additions out of seven. So, by leveling up, you can unlock the first um, set, 
except for the last one. In order to unlock the last one, you have to level all of the other ones up to their max level. And right now, both of these are level 1. You can see that by the LV to the right here. To the right of that is ADD, which stands for additions. And the 1 indicates that there's only one time you have to press the X button. The 3 indicates that you have to press it three times. SP, uh, that doesn't really matter right now. That's for uh, later on. The damage percent, uh, you see 150 and 200. So that takes your base attack and gives it that modifier. And then the next level is how many successful additions you've completed and how many you have to complete to level it up to the next level. So you can see for double slash, I've done it six out of 20 times. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with double slash until I have it up to the max level. And then I'll move on to each of the following ones. Um, as they go down, they get more and more difficult. So like five and six, I forget the names exactly, but uh, they're really freaking hard. And they usually take me a while to fully complete. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and call that for the episode. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Keytapper. If you have any comments, critiques, or just want to leave a message, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed the video.